Yeah, that's right, Ben. Just within the last hour, we got our first communication from Stone Academy, the first communication ever since the university, uh, or since the school, rather, ceased operations. They're advising students to check Stone Academy's website to request their transcripts or a transfer uh, to continue their education and what Stone is calling one of four other partner institutions. Stone Academy student Daviana Fincher is demanding accountability after the closing of the nursing school left her blindsided. I'm backward in my mortgage, yeah. in my car notes. Yes. Yes. How many times? Yes. Because I quit a full time job to cut to finish school. Yeah, only, I only heard on the news that Stone was closed. Oh, okay. Not till today, not even an email. On this day, the voice is growing louder by the dozens. Who wants to teach our plan? <laughs> Met with honks of approval. Nurses, this doesn't happen to nurses. We want to change the world. But it's left some wondering if they'll have to change their imagined futures just months from graduation. Blood, sweat, and tears, my time. I'm a single mom of two under three. Coming here every single day from New London, I sacrificed so much. Students and instructors held signs ranging from the face of the silent president of Stone Academy to demands that their credits be honored, marching to the campus offices and throwing their nursing uniforms by the locked doors. We were just left in the dust. These students and instructors, many of them single moms, have sacrificed much. I'm in my 40s. I'm not in my 20s. I don't have all day. You know, I already stopped my life. All this as big picture questions loom large. The state knew that this school was in some kind of danger. We're going to look for a judge that will grant a class action suit. Now, the State Office of Higher Education has also promised to hold a fair next week where they say students can, quote, explore what educational options are available to them, which includes credit transfers, possible tuition reimbursement, and federal loan discharges. For now, we're live here on the Stone Academy East Hartford campus. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.